All right, in this video, I'll be using um, Oathcrack to um, attempt to crack Windows passwords. Now, um, Oathcrack uses rainbow tables, um, which, straight from the book, are um, huge precompiled lists of hash values for every possible combination of characters. So basically, what that means is uh, Oathcrack takes a password um, from the rainbow table, which has a list of pre-computed, basically pre-hashed um, every possible combination of words for a certain length um, and it compares this hash to the Windows hash. Now if, if these two hashes um, are the same, that means it's the same password. So basically, first we downloaded Oathcrack um, on the website, um, oathcrack.sourceforge.net and in this example we'll be using the um, Windows version um, running it straight from Windows and go ahead and download that and then along with that you'll have to download the tables now I'm using this there's, there's a XP table so if you're running it in Windows XP and then there's Vista um, tables and um, these basically um, it says right here based on a dictionary with variations hybrid mode so basically it takes dictionary and um, takes a bunch of variations of the, those words um, but if you want more a bigger um, rainbow table in it so that it has a higher chance of cracking the password you can go and purchase the bigger um, rainbow tables here basically this one has all the special characters A through Z, capital A through Z, 1 through, one through a 9, 0 through 9 so basically um, each the bigger it is the more um, combinations it has in the higher the success you'll have of cracking the passwords. Now, um, with a little bit of searching, you can definitely find some free tables, but they not might they might not work, you know, 100% with Oathcrack like these are because they're made exactly for this program. All right, so I'll go ahead and either download the XP version, the free version, or the Vista free version. Now once you have those downloaded, you can um, extract the rainbow tables and you should have a bunch of files that look like this, table index and table start. Um, and I'll go ahead and install Oathcrack, allow, next. But you you don't want to um, download the tables since you're doing it separately. Um, it's a lot better to download them separately because um, if you use a download manager like Flash Get, it'll download them a lot faster than if you were downloading them from here. So unselect that and go ahead and install it. Next and finish. Now I'll go ahead and run off crack, and this is what it looks like. All right, first thing. Um, what we have to do is load up the uh, tables and basically here it says that they aren't installed but we actually have them um, downloaded and on our computer so we'll just point to the directory that they're included in so go ahead and press install and locate the um, directory with the rim tables so here's mine okay and there you go Vista free and it has the um, file location and click OK. Now it's going to start um, preloading it. Um, now the next thing we want to do is uh, is um, extract the SAM file on the computer. Basically, what the SAM file is, it it holds all the hash hash um, hashes the password hashes on this computer. So I'll go ahead and click load and password dump file. Oh, actually local SAM. Basically it'll look on this computer and automatically extract the hashes. Hmm. So um, as you just saw I had a problem loading the hashes. Now I quickly paused the video and I figured out that my antivirus program which is Norton um, had during the installation had messed with my password dump um, program so basically if you have that problem where it tells you you can't get the dump the um, SAM file then 
just disable uh, your um, antivirus for you know at least 15 minutes and reinstall it and go ahead and run it so now it should work so load local SAM and allow and there you go three accounts administrator David and guest um, these two are default they come with the OS and this is my account so now oh, there's my dog again <laughs> He likes to park at every single person that walks by. Oh well, anyways, um, so now that we have the uh, rainbow tables um, loaded and the accounts, user accounts, and their hashes up, we can start to crack. So go ahead and, go ahead and click crack. And it'll first place the rainbow tables into RAM so that it could um, go through them a lot faster than if it was going um, on the actual hard drive and then once it's loaded up it'll start cracking or attempting to crack the passwords for each of these accounts and if you expand this you can see um, the stats of each table and how much of it has been loaded up into the RAM Then now it started to crack. Um, brute force, 35%. It's going through each table. And while it's cracking, um, it says two of three passwords found. And that's because the administrator and guest passwords are empty. Which is probably not a good thing. I should better go change the admin password. So I let the program run out and it's finally finished cracking the password which was a simple password hacker. Now the Vista free um, rainbow table um, available for Vista isn't as powerful as the one for XP. Um, the one for XP is alphanumerical and um, whereas the one for Vista is just dictionary, kind of a dictionary attack where it, um, uh, it also like, adds the words to each other and basically it's more more of a dictionary based attack than a just totally random um, every possible letter combination like the one for XP so with Vista the free table will probably not be able to crack long passwords or passwords with numbers multiple numbers um, so that's cracking that's using of crack to crack passwords in Vista now let's look at using the of crack live CD and this time we'll be looking at um, a XP machine